Following the tragedy that happened for Harwood this past week, sports took a back seat for a while to what was most important. The loss of five young lives devastated the community as well as the entire state. And over the past week, Harwood was remembered at a number of sporting events throughout Vermont. Tonight, that would be no different. The Rutland Raiders and BFA St. Albans Bob Whites coming together at midfield prior to their football game tonight, releasing Highlander colored balloons into the air, remembering those we lost, some of which were athletes themselves and would be honored through the art of competition. First half, it would be Rutland's Bailey Peters getting us started, flings the pigskin downfield to Kyle Casarino. The in stride down the sideline, touchdown, but not so fast. There's a flag on the play. This one's coming back. It would actually be the only good point attempt in the first half. Third quarter, Bob Whites take a shot at it themselves. Nate Parody making his way toward the near sideline and the camera. He would be tackled inside the 10-yard line. Couple plays later, they would finish what they started. Hunter LaRoe, the quick flip to Connor Calloway, already waiting in the end zone. Touchdown, this one counts. It's 7-0 BFA. Ensuing drive, handoff to Dakota Peters. He takes it 20 yards to the house. The beginning of points on the scoreboard as the Raiders win. By a lucky seven. Rice, fresh off a huge win against St. Jay last week, visiting Middlebury, looking to continue their momentum. In the third quarter, we're tied seven all. Trey Deemer, screen to Kevin Lamontagny, rumbles his way down inside the 15 to be precise. We're going to mark him around the 14 yard line. Later on this drive, they'd hand off to Jack Fitzgerald. He's able to bounce outside and coast his way into the end zone. He gets the six points. Green Knights go up by seven to make it 14-7. Fourth quarter, Rice punting on fourth down. The snap is a little too high to handle. It's going to bounce around for a little while. Eventually, the Tiggers fall on it and give themselves some great field position in hopes that they'd be able to tie things up. Andrew Gleason looking to the end zone, but it's connected to the wrong team. Alex Bond comes up with the interception, and Rice hangs on for the win. In Division 3, Otter Valley hosting Mount Abraham. Opening drive of the game, Tyler Rowe fakes the handoff to William Ross. Ross refuses to go down, getting himself a nice chunk of yardage, and then they would finish it off by going to Colin Parker. He's able to get into the end zone for the TD, 7-0 Otter Valley. Let's go to the second quarter. Otters go to the air this time. Rowe airing it out deep to Tyson Cram, and he's got the 6. They would tack on the extra point to make it a 14-0 lead. The offense was showing off, but so was their defense. Watch number 32, Daniel Allen, rushing in, unblocked, sacks that QB. Otters roll past Mount Abe, 34-14, your final.